Hello, it's been a while. Yes, uh, I'm sorry I didn't do any woodworking videos or anything like that. Uh, we, we lost nearly all of our income uh, in the last uh, six months because of COVID. And I plan to do more with the house, but I also plan to make a, a big boat and that's gone as well. But I'm going to make a small boat. I'm going to make a sailing boat and I'm going to make it from plans. It's only 10 foot long, but it's a trimaran. So it's got three holes. Yes. And this is going to be made for less than $500. And uh, I just before I start, I have some of the plans up here. You can, I will give you a link to the study plans, which is pretty good from, it, it's, it's from Richard Woods design. And he will give you, I won't give you this one, he'll give you this one, this one, and a few of the other ones to give you a fair idea. I'm not going to give you details on any of these because they're copywriters. Uh, it's made from, the boat itself is made from two sheets. And, and when you're making it into a trimaran, it takes three sheets of, wait for it, four millimeter. Now I have five millimeter, <laughs> so five millimeter is fine, and you need a half a sheet of six as well. But all I'm making it all from five millimeter because I can get really good, high quality at a good price, made in the Philippines, uh, 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 Luan, Luan plywood, and it's marine. And so, before I start, I'll just move down here. Um, I have never built a boat before. I have never sailed a boat before. Uh, I'm going to teach myself to sail. I'm going to teach my daughter how to sail. And I'm going to make a sailboat. That's what I think anyway. And I'm going to make the sail myself to cut down on costs. Uh, the designer is there on email anytime I need any help or anything. With, uh, it's, uh, it's what's called stitch and glue. In other words, the, the panels are uh, with drill holes and they take their own shape by tying them together with in the case of the main uh, the main hull it'll be done I will be doing it with electrical cable I will take the copper wire out of it and you will see that in a while uh, I'm not going to give you the measurements here but I will do them myself but basically uh, you need a square now you can use another sheet of plywood if you want to I happen to have a square here I happen to have a, a decent square that is 100% accurate. And we're going to take our, our pints. First part we are going to do is, I will show you this because this is widely available. I, this is the two sheets. Can you see uh, the different parts, right? So that, that to show that we can make the main parts uh, out of two sheets. So I'm going to start with this one here. Uh, which is the bottom of the boat and it's cut here so that it can take shape of a triangle in case you're confused and then we will start on the second sheet we will cut the two sides and we'll cut all the bunk heads and all the little pieces uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure on the names of them but the back of the boat part is called the transom and uh, so starboard is right and, and port is left and I know that from from flying airplanes uh, the boat will, the, this is it, which, this is also free on, 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 on Richard's website and I'll put the link and that's what the boat will look like without the uh, trimaran, okay? So you have pints along, when you're making something like this, you have pints along a sheet and then you measure out from them. Uh, in, in the staircase we would call it going and, and, and rise, but uh, I don't know their name for it in boats, I don't know, somebody will probably put it down below. But this, is, this one is very simple. He's going 400, 400, 400 millimeters now, 400, 400, and then the last one, because all sheets are not eight foot. So, uh, and then you add a little bit on the end. So this sheet here, uh, one sheet, it's a 10 foot boat. So obviously we're adding a bit on. It's just a butt joint. There's no need to scarf it. So uh, it's butt, it's butt, but strapped as well. So the first thing I do is we are going to, um, we are going to mark the 400s. Uh, I use a ruler, but you can use a tape. Uh, the ruler is half millimeters on this one actually. Uh, so you can uh, convert it over to inches if you want to. Uh, uh, like four, what's 400? About 16 inches, isn't it? So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to mark four. 
é isso. That's uh, one, two, three, that's 1600, and then two meters, and then the last one, which will be two, uh, two, 244 or whatever, yeah. That's usually what it is. A sheet, uh, a sheet is two, four, a sheet is two, two, four, four, I think. Two, four, forty, no, two, four, four, oh, maybe like that. So, now we are going to square these ones. Now, as I said, we're going to do, I have them on the wall there as well, but I just, these ones, because I'm setting them out and I don't want to go over them back and forth. It says on this that uh, the, the longest pint is 360 millimeters. I'm going to give you the 360 millimeters, but I'm not going to give you all the other ones. But it's 360 millimeters here and here and I imagine there's a hump going down it's slightly more than uh, 360 now I calculated all these other pieces and I think he, uh, they were a bit generous in the plan in in the sense that we have enough uh, to go so I'm going to I'm going to uh, measure my line center line the length of the board first I'm going to measure that at 363 instead okay and so for for doing that line i will measure it 363 three. that will be the center of the bottom i should be using my reading glasses for this i'm going to pop a sheet up on top of this uh, And all our measurements will be taking off that. So he says 360, and but I think I want three more millimeters. And I know I have enough for the rest of it. So I'm going to uh, move this out a little bit. I'll leave my squalor down now for a minute. To do this long one, you can do it in two halves, uh, measure twice and measure in the middle, but I'll do it all with one sheet and uh, I'll put another sheet up on top of this. So I'm drawing the center line of the bottom. And then I'm going to move that sheet, Rex, you move that sheet back there. Isn't it? These are only guidelines, they are n don't have to be, if they're one millimeter out or nothing, it's not going to make any difference to the size of your hull. But we always try and do them correctly. So I'm going to draw that one, that's not going to go out the whole 360 anyway. to mark out the bottom so I what I do is I'm going to call this one a a is the first one B C D E F and G okay so there's a measurement on each of them now that is not going to be in your uh, in, in on the drawing so you can put it in yourself uh, you can just draw it in yourself on the on the, on your thing so now I'm going to do my measurements. Now my measurements are coming from there to there, but also back over to here as well, because this is the bottom of the boat. So I will use my glasses this time. Uh, I will start down at A. Uh, 
I didn't go quite over 400 with that line. I meant to go over. And then, the t as I said, the two in the middle are uh, are the same, and I say, aren't they? Yeah, 360 each. I'm giving away one measurement. So now that we have uh, marked out all these, uh, it will be it will be for this piece. I've, I've marked all the points here, coming out here, and then the two in the middle, and then coming in here pretty sharply from the middle line. Now this middle line here is going to be cut because this is where we're going to make the V on the back of the boat. So we will measure down the distance that that's supposed to be, which is 1,200 uh, millimeters, which is 1,200 millimeters, which is 1.2 meters. So we will just mark it down so we will know where we're going to cut it later on. We don't... It's been cut later, but we'll mark it now to that one. All right. 1,000 there, just to make sure. Uh, actually, it should be easy. To <laughs> it should be easy to find because four, eight, twelve. So this is the line. Cut. It's going to cut there. Okay. We're going to cut that, and it's going to be bent in. Do you believe me? Now. So now that we've all these pieces, I've these all measured, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check all the measurements. So normally I would use a screw rather than a, a nail, but for finding this curve, I find it much easier that if, if I use a, a pin, it's actually a stainless steel nail or stainless steel pin, and they are strong enough. I am putting them on the, the side of the line. Maybe you can see on this one, so the line is there. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do then. So the line is on this side, on the outside of it. This will be filled with epoxy later. I have small screws there, and I, they're a bit fidgety for doing this. Now, I don't have a piece to go down the whole length that I think is suitable, but I'll go to the mall bar one, or there. No, not in the middle, where the screw is, where the nail is. Okay. So when you think you've got a, what they, what's called, it's called, a, I think, a fair curve? Fair curve. So fair curve means it's like, <laughs> it's fairly okay. It don't look like it's wrong. Uh, I'm using a piece of uh, hardwood here. It's just a bit of Luan, because that's what I have. Now, because we are not making doubles of this, no, 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 push it in. Don't push it in the middle. Push it, Rex, on the bottom, here. Not on the top, on the bottom. And then we will extend this down. Oh, I didn't put a nail on the last one. And we'll extend it down. Uh, now I have the other side of this done. We'll just take out the nails. You should be able to pull them out with your hand near enough. And then what we will do is we will set this aside and we will do the two sides next. So we will take up our next sheet then. So we'll just take, take this apart and then I'll put another sheet and I will do the two sides. The two sides, one comes from one side and one comes from the other. But they recommend we just cut one, mark one with the coordinates coordinates is lying right the coordinates is going to be all coming from the outside this time not from a center line and uh, we will take that and we will do a curve and if we're not we we will plane it up a little bit if we want to and then we will transfer that onto the other side okay so that's uh, the end of part one it's the, probably the most boring part for you that is watching it is where you're setting it out and uh, it takes up quite a bit of time uh, in the next one I'll be doing the 
I'll be doing the sides. I will cut the I will cut the mark out the sides and and then I'll be cutting all the four pieces all in the next video. So everything will be cut. All the main pieces will be cut in the next video. And uh, please tune in for the next uh, next uh, part, which will be uh, in a few more days. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.